then to hear from the oldest Grand Tour winner in history. I guess the first question is, is this the end of something or the beginning of something? Well, I think we're just in the middle of something. I, it's been it's been a long something. I mean, I, I've been racing for 19 years professional. I've been amateur before that. I don't plan on, on leaving tomorrow or, or retiring or anything like that. So uh, clearly, I must be nearing somewhere near the end of my career. Is it five years from now or another 10? I don't know. But... Um, Certainly, I'll be around for next year. The legs are fantastic, and the form is great. The head is in a, in a beautiful place at the moment. It's very easy to stay motivated at my age to know that, that with each, each training day, you, the efforts will really pay off, and the beautiful victories are still, still to come. Those 19 years you've spoken about, they've covered some very difficult years in cycling. You've spoken in the past of never having seen doping, heard of doping, just tell us about that. But people do, of course, ask the question. This is a clean and credible victory you're telling us. That is, absolutely. It's, it's been difficult times throughout my career. Um, but it's been beautiful moments, too. It's not... I, I can appreciate... I can appreciate riding in the Gruppetto with friends of mine and, and going to the table with teammates of mine and going to the races with teammates of mine. I understand the difficult moments of the past. I'm never talked about not knowing of its existence. I've never said that ever in my career. Um, but I've still always loved the bike. I've always loved being on the bike. I, I think it's, uh, when you look at, at my results, they're amazing results, and they've come at amazingly beautiful times in the, in the sport of cycling. I wish everybody from the past, the future, and the present of cycling all the best and all my love. I have so much uh, love for the sport, so much to give for the sport, and the sport has given me so much. So uh, I like to continue that that the, those beautiful times for as long as I can. I know at some point in time the office job awaits me, uh, but at this moment uh, uh, I have nothing but love for the sport, and, and I hope the fans really enjoyed everything that they've gotten to watch this at this year's Vuelta. It's been an amazing 2013. Amazing is a word I think both Chris Horner's fans and the sceptics could agree on. He certainly won one of the closest and most exciting Vuelta's of recent years, from the opening team time trial through to the final sprint in Madrid.